Welcome one, welcome all. My name is Ryan Mainville and I'm a writer with the SB Nation site MavsMoneyBall.com covering the Dallas Mavericks and today we're going to be watching some film, we're going to be looking at some numbers, and we're going to be looking at some charts and we're going to be trying to answer the question of just how valuable is Maxi Kleba? What does he mean to this team? What does he mean to this offense? And especially what can he offer on defense that will help this team win games in the playoffs? When you look at the box score numbers for Kleba, they're good, but they're not mind-blowing. He's averaging 9.2 points per game, 5.4 total rebounds per game, and 1.2 blocks per game. But when you dive deeper into these numbers, they're a lot more impressive than they seem. Kleba's 1.2 blocks per game is good for 20th in the league, and he's averaging a career-high three-point percentage of 37.4%. That's good for the 73rd best three-point percentage in the league. He's also averaging a career high in free throw percentage. Anyone who enjoys NBA draft or NBA player development knows that free throw percentage is a good rule of thumb to see if someone is a good shooter or has potential to increase their shooting percentages. And this is true for Kleba. His free throw percentage has increased 11.7% since his rookie season in 2017-18, showing that his three point percentage increasing is no mistake, but rather just a product of his hard work. Outside of the obvious and what he offers in the box score, Maxi Kleba can contribute to the Mavericks in three key ways. The first, his shooting. The second, his ability in pick and pop situations. And the third is what he offers on the defensive end of the floor. Maxi Kleba being six foot 10, yet shooting 37.4% from three, begs the question of what makes him such an efficient shooter? Oddly enough, it's Kleba's unique ability to get himself wide open that makes him such a lethal threat from the perimeter. A shot is defined as wide open when the nearest defender is six feet or more away from the shooter. And when you look at the league leaders in this stat, Maxi Kleba is up there with the elite of the league. There are stretch bigs on this list like Carl Anthony Towns, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Pascal Siakam. Then there are the guards who rely mainly on their dribble moves to get open like Trey Young and Fred Van Fleet. Then there's also guys who are really talented in catch and shoot situations like Eric Gordon. Maxi's numbers are unique though because he shoots these shots at such a high frequency. He shoots them at nearly 52.6%. That's insane and that's way more than anyone else on this list. Out of the 286 total three-pointers that Maxi Kleba has taken this season, 239 of them have been wide open shots. That's good for about 83.6% of his total three pointers. And the 52.6% frequency at which he takes these shots is the third highest in the league for players with more than 100 wide open threes attempted behind Royce O'Neal and PJ Tucker. When you look at Kleba's shot charts, you can clearly see how little he takes mid range jumpers and how much he relies on the three point ball. Kleba takes a majority of his threes from to the left and to the right of the top of the key, but he also will sneak out into a corner and hit three-pointers there. In fact, Kleba has taken 158 shots in the paint this season compared to his 286 three-pointers attempted. These charts clearly depict the two ways in which Maxi Kleba consistently gets himself open for threes, and that's in pick and pop situations and when the primary ball handler of the Mavericks, which is usually Luka Doncic, draws the help defense and gets Maxi Kleba wide open. You can see that even when Maxi doesn't set the strongest screen, he'll just roll right out of it and hit a wide open shot. Here you can see him coming up to the top of the key, not even touching Devontae Graham and still getting a wide open look. In this clip, you see Bismack Biombo switch on to Luka. That's a mismatch. Terry Rozier has to go help, which leaves Kleba wide open. And then you can see how when the primary ball handler attacks, the defense collapses, which leaves Maxi wide open. Again, Luka just uses a shot fake there, and Maxi's wide open. And then even Dwight Powell is going to drive, kick it out to Kleba, and that's an easy corner three. Kleba is a defender who offers you a lot more than what shows up in the box score, but even the numbers on defense are pretty good. His 107.9 defensive rating is the fourth best on the Mavericks of players who play more than 20 minutes per game. His block percentage of 3.9% is only second behind Kristaps Porzingis, and it's also the 17th highest in the NBA. His 1.7 defensive win shares is also the fourth most on the Mavericks. 
Kleba has also accomplished 78 total blocks this season. That's good for 18th most in the NBA. But again, even when he's not blocking shots, you can see how he makes an impact. Here are some of his defensive numbers against top guys in the NBA like Sion Williamson, Jaron Jackson Jr., even Anthony Davis and LeBron James. You can see just how effective Kleba is at defending anyone, but especially power forwards who tend to go on the perimeter and shoot threes. Kleba is someone who can come off the bench and guard a team's best player, especially their best forward, when Porzingis or even Dorian Finney-Smith needs a rest. A big part of Maxi being an effective defender is how athletic and how surprisingly quick he is. Here you can see him going step by step with Trey Young and swatting it off the backboard. And then one of the fastest guards in the league, De'Aaron Fox, keeps Maxi on his hip. Even on a fast break, Kleba is able to catch up to Fox and swat it off the rim. Even when he's not being fast, Kleba is an incredibly smart defender. He doesn't bite on a lot of shot fakes. He's very calculated and he knows exactly when to jump. He's not a guy that's going to post like four blocks a game just because he wants to help the team in the smartest way possible. And of course, the best display of his defense was against Zion Williamson, where he did not let Williamson back him down and rather went straight up on every shot blocking him. So our initial question was, well, how valuable is Maxi Kleba? And part of his value is going to be able to help the Mavericks win in the playoffs. And there are three ways that I see Maxi doing that. The first is to score easy threes when given the opportunity. A lot of those are going to come when he frequents the pick and pop game. He's going to get a lot of those opportunities when the starter, Kristaps Porzingis, is on the bench resting. The third way he can contribute in a major way is by defending the opposing team's best players. Remember Maxi's stats from earlier? Those are not a fluke. That's what he's capable of defending anyone. If the playoffs began today, the Clippers would be the matchup for the Mavericks in the first round. And while the Clippers may be a daunting matchup in many ways, Kleba has actually done pretty well at defending their best players. Even Kawhi Leonard was 5 for 9 and 1 for 4 from deep when being defended by Kleba. But we're usually going to see Kleba matched up against bigs like Montrez Harrell or even Zubak. And you can see how much Harrell struggled against Kleba in the matchup earlier this season. So just how valuable is Maxi Kleba? Well, I think he's honestly the third most valuable person on the Mavericks. While some may argue that it's Hardaway Jr. with his explosiveness on the offensive side of the floor, or Curry with his efficiency, I think what Maxi offers both ways is unmatched by anyone. With Kleba likely coming off the bench for the majority of the playoffs, he has the unique opportunity to come into the game and be a defensive anchor, an offensive explosion, and just a good overall teammate. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, keep going to MavsMoneyBall.com. Throughout the rest of the regular season and the playoffs, we'll have lots of good content for you. You can follow me on Twitter, at Ryan Mainville, and be sure to subscribe to my channel, RM Room.